Hello, hello, and welcome back. I am Maester Elix, and this is Fallout 4 in CR Lone Ranger. We're right back where we left off, just outside this cave, hot on the tails of that dastardly dog, Kellogg. Grr, we hate him so much. Grr. And, uh, so I don't forget, like I did last episode, the ranger reflected on what she was doing and realized she's going to have to look hard. She's going to need ammo for her gun. She'd have to look harder. She put a, She thought to herself, I have to keep, you know, better tabs on my ammo. The dog wanted her to cross the bridge. She saw nothing wrong with that. The dog was leading her to where she, to wherever she wanted to go. She was quite excited for this. However, she knew not to get her hopes up, at least not too high, and most certainly not to let her guard down. Times like this called for beer. One good thing about ghouls, they always had something. Now, was it something good? Not always, but at least it was something in the first place. Known mercenary. Exercise extreme caution. Whatever this robot Alert. was saying. Critical signs. Alert. Critical signs. She was. It talked about a mercenary, so she had asked this robot what was going on. What have we here? Oh, 
Super mutants. Filthy creatures that wandered the wastelands. However, they sometimes carried something interesting. Attention, assailant. Lower your weapons immediately. <laughs> Alert. What have Critical we here? Signs. Error. Alert. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. Just tell me where Kellogg went. Tin can. Identity of assailant. Kellogg. Another life, as it were, was taken by Kellogg, confirmed by its dying words. And dying words was close enough to actual truth, especially when it was something you wanted to hear. It had been a while, and she drank plenty of, uh, beer. It's time to her to enjoy some clean water for once. She had to prepare herself for battle. While she hated the idea of needing to do chems, nor really wanting to do them. It was a necessity, at least at this time. She wanted to be properly prepared for that dirty beast. She had no idea where this dog was leading her, all hither and thither. However, she just had to trust that not only did the robot detective, but his comp you know, dog companion knew what in the world was going on. What boy. do you think, boy? Huh? Is this our man? However, they kept finding more and more evidence of the guy, so that was always encouraging. Kellogg's still out there. We've got to track him, boy. Is this the place? Huh? Is he in here, boy? The ranger had finally tracked him down. But then when she got there, her heart sunk. When she got there, she found out he was holed up in a fort. And it was armed. He was prepared. He must have known she was coming. Not that that was any real surprise. She didn't make her pursuing of him 
secret or even all that quiet. No. If he was prepared, then she'd have to get prepared. Yeah, she wanted to just run in there, guns blazing, and blow his head clear off his shoulders. But it wasn't this wasn't that time. She'd need friends. She'd need help. She'd need backup. And she knew just the group that'd do it. Cause they, more than anyone else she'd ever encountered, was really good at dispensing righteous violence. Oh yeah. And as it so happened, one of them one members of that one of them group members well, he seemed to take a fancy to her, and, by her reckoning, they owed her a favor. So, knowing where he was holed up would have to do, at least for now. Yep, she was going to go help the Brotherhood of Steel. You know, get in good with them. At least for now. But first, she'd have to take what she's gotten from the road put it someplace safe. It was dark. She was plumb tired when she got home. Well, not so much home as the place she stowed her stuff, but it was once said, home is where your stuff is. So, at least for out here in the Commonwealth, this was home dog followed her here. Not that she minded. Of course, to her, you know, seeing a full-on healthy dog was a bit odd. A dog that healthy, normally you could see its brain sloshing around in there. But that was neither here nor there. Nope. Instead, she had to unload and prepare. And, of course, help them brotherhood fellas. All in due time. She told herself, all in due time. She'd rest the night and head out to the Brotherhood come morning. Right, she remembered. That mattress was already occupied. She'd figure out something to do. The Brotherhood wanted something from her, you know. Most people do want something from you when you're capable with a gun. Sometimes it was simple, something simple like, don't shoot me. However, they wanted her to track down a lost patrol. She figured she could do that, so she started looking at the place she knew. The only place she knew that was even remotely close to where that was. The place where this all started, where she entered the com where she entered in earnest the Commonwealth track down the dastardly Kellogg. Much like that day when this all started, it was raining. But it wasn't a rad storm at least. That would only make a bad situation.
She had a vague area which they had maybe some ideas where they could be. And there were some dead bodies about, but they didn't look Brotherhood at all. Ah. Red scorpions again. She also figured since she was doing something for the Brotherhood, she could at least try to somewhat act the part. Plus, she wanted to conserve what ammo she had for these guns. It's fused solid. This one, too. Don't think I can pick this. Well, she was mighty curious about what had happened here. Fortunately, there was a hollow tape. It revealed that the nearby military installation, well, that's where they, these Brotherhood were headed. First link in the chain, she suspected. Because something like this never was easy. Of course, no one ever said it would be. She had hoped that when they got to wherever they were headed, still had a roof. Be nice to get out of this here rain. Unlike many other places in the Commonwealth that were littered with enemies, this place was also just littered.
As she got closer to the building, her, her pit pad flicked to life, and she heard that there was a distress beacon inside. She knew she was in the right place. here last, at least pre-war, seemed to have this place locked down to bear. She was kind of glad for that, that there was plenty of things around to protect herself with. Before going in and locking herself up, she felt the need to at least look around, give it a once over. Something told her, deep down in her gut, it would be to her benefit. It was also beneficial that she carried around. Some food for hard times like just now. No, no, weren't you listening? I said she avoided the mine. God. Pay attention now, pay attention. Look, it's very simple. She's a trained NCR ranger. And these haphazardly strewn about mines weren't going to be any real impediment to her. No, 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 she knew her, she knew her way around. She knew what she was doing. Besides, she wouldn't panic when she heard the sound of a landmine going off. Nah, she'd just deal with it. Defuse the stupid thing. felt good to being out of the rain, but seeing one ghoul there, she figured there'd be more, and they'd probably be alive.
Well, they may sometimes have numbers on their side. Rules often suffered from the malady of being stupid. Found another one of them brotherhood. Yeah, she takes some things, but not all her things. Least they could do is get some respect. Like before, she, there was a hollow tape, and she felt it would only be just and righteous. And curiosity, Satan, if she listened to more. Well, she got a couple senses of things. One, that uh, whoever this Paladin Brandis was, he commanded respect. Two, at least, she, at least she learned where these knights were headed off to. The coast. Some satellite array. She'd seen it on the way in. Big and ominous, with round things pointing towards the sky. But, uh... Now she knew that's where she was headed. But first, first she'd at least look around a bit. I mean, this was a military installation. Might have a few nice things, and hopefully, some ammo. She'd been going full bore for days now, and honestly, she just needed to take a little bit of a rest. And that is where I will say thank you all for joining me. I hope you're enjoying my content as much as I'm enjoying making it for all of you. And I really do enjoy making it for all of you because I, put, I make it seven days a week. Uh, if you do enjoy my content, then please... Uh, like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that fun YouTube stuff that everyone asks you to do. And I'm going to ask you to do it too. Uh, if, if you do not like my stuff, then uh, please go down below and leave a thumbs down. And a comment as to what you don't like, so I can try to improve. Uh, I've been getting generally positive feedback on this whole Be the Narrator thing. And uh, I'm glad I chose to do that. So thank you all for those of you who responded and told me the positive, good feedback on that. Um, I'd also like to announce that at time of recording, uh, the day, uh, I couldn't make it for yesterday's video because it wasn't true, but today it is. I have now passed 10,000 views on my YouTube page, and so, uh, I can now begin to try to monetize my page, which, uh, has been a dream of mine since probably the 15th or 20th episode of Enclave Modded. Oh, it's so glorious. It just gives me hope for the future, and I didn't have that before. 
Anyway, uh, to further my hopes in the future and continue my dreams of doing this full time, please consider following the link down below to my Patreon campaign. Uh, that is how you can support this channel in the most meaningful way possible, and you don't and you don't have to get nothing for it. No, you actually get things for it. Uh, Patreon subscribers can uh, will be communicated with often on questions on what I could, should, or shouldn't have done. Uh, you can also get early access to videos, Patreon exclusive videos, uh, access to a unique to a patron only section of my Discord server, and uh, other wonderful things, uh, including uh, production videos, which is stuff that happens between episodes. Uh, you can watch me live stream that. Anyway, thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you all next time.